Today we're making cavity free bubble gum and eating the world's sourest candy like freeze dried sour Skittles, Jelly Pop, and Joyride. All to see if my gum can reverse cavities. Stick to the end where I'll bring mystery guests to taste my gum. Starting with phase one of four, let's collect the ingredients. Our first ingredient is organic chicle. But if you can't buy organic chicle, these tiny gum based pellets work just as well. They look like tiny beans and taste like rubber. So we're gonna add xylitol to give it sweet cavity free flavor. Our next ingredient is Mestija gum, which has been scientifically proven to reduce strep mutant, the bacteria that causes cavities. Next up is myrrh gum, which is gonna help soothe those irritated gums, reduce inflammation, and help with gingivitis. Next is gum arabic powder to give it that smooth, chewy texture. Next is nano hydroxy appetite, which is gonna help strengthen and remineralize your teeth. This is the same ingredient we're using in our upcoming toothpaste. Comment the emoji down below if you can guess what the flavor is gonna be. Next ingredient is bentonite clay, which is gonna help remove plaque and stain since it's a mild abrasive. And finally, we got watermelon mint for that fruity minty explosion. Now for phase two, let's get mixing. We're gonna grab our bowl, pour the gum into the bowl. We're gonna add the xylitol. Next up, we're gonna add the mastica gum. Now it's time for the bentonite powder. Not too much of this stuff, it's pretty strong. We're gonna add the acai powder. Next, we're gonna add the nano hydroxy appetite, which is found in the fat cloud. Let's grab our watermelon mint extract, add a couple drops. We're gonna add some food coloring to give it a little bit of a better vibe. With the cutting board fully covered in flour, it's time to pour the hot liquid gum onto the cutting board. Whoa, that is so satisfying. Whoa, that's one sticky mess. You wanna get it to a perfect consistency and temperature, fold it over, and it looks like Play-Doh. As the gum slowly hardens, it will turn into a fun Play-Doh stretchy shape, so now we can cut it exactly how we want. And just like that, you got yourself homemade bubble gum. This gum's looking a bit bland, so let's add some gum to the outside to level it up. Now it's time for phase three, the cavity test. Where we're gonna go into the cavity zone by eating the sourest candies, which will lower the pH in my mouth. And then in the end, use my bubble gum to see if my teeth can be safe. Up first is tiny toxic waste. Ooh. Tiny, but pretty sour. Medium toxic waste. Looks electric. Woo! How can anyone eat that stuff? Next up is giant toxic waste. This thing is huge. I've never seen a toxic waste container this big before. It comes with toxically awesome stickers from the Toxic Sores Boy. Toxic nuclear fusion. Grape strawberry? Ooh. Nom. Oh, it's not sour. Oh, yeah. Sweet on the outside, but sour in the middle. Smog balls? It tastes like Play Doh. <laughs> Tiny Adam sour candy? It's a sour you can see on the atomic level. Oh yeah, they got a zing. All that sour candy's got me feeling like Mr. Toxic Head. Whoa! Freeze-dried sour Skittle Pops. Pop crunchy deliciousness. Ooh. Sour trolley gummy worms in gummy form and ice cream form. First up, ice cream. It's wiggly like a worm. A sour gummy worm. Let's see how sour wiggly ice cream tastes. Oh, it's gummy. It tastes exactly what you think a frozen gummy worm would taste like. Not for me. Overall pretty good, but the ice cream is much better. Next up, we're making sour freeze berry cereal. For the milk, we're using sour lemonade prime. Whoa, it looks like a party. Rice Krispie Treats has got nothing on these. Look at that mouthful. No way. This might possibly be the one of the most delicious things I've ever made on my channel. But quite possibly the worst thing you can do to your teeth. We got Sour Strips, Ryan Trahan's Joyride versus Sour Strips. Joyride's up first, one giant clump of Sour Strips. Natural, sour, delicious, and somewhat healthy candy. Still has got a little bit of sugar, but nowhere near as much as these strips. This stuff is super sour, you gotta be careful. Ooh, guaranteed cavities with these guys. Phase rug one up freeze dried sour strips. Ooh, I can see the rainbow. Sounds like glass. Great texture, but it kind of tastes like bananas. I'm not a big fan of banana flavored candy. Sour Patch Kids energy drink. Charge it up before you open it. Oh yeah. <coughs> Whoa. <coughs> Whoa, what the heck? Giant squishy Sour Patch Kids. And lastly, we got super surprise sour jelly pop. Strawberry. Ooh, that 
Owl. Green apale. Orange. Pineapple. Whoa, 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 that was green. And lastly, grape. Mm. It's time to check the pH. A value under five will cause cavities. It's a one. I'm in the cavity zone. This is an all-time low. So it's time to test my homemade fat glob bubble mm. gum. Getting some delicious watermelon flavor. Let's see if I can blow any bubbles. The goal is to see if my cavity-free gum can elevate the pH in my mouth back to the safe zone. Let's check the pH. The pH in my mouth is at an 11, which means my teeth are in the clear. Now it's time for the ultimate test. Let's bring in my family and see who can blow the largest bubble. Amanda. We have Adriana. And finally, we have Cynthia. Who's going to blow the largest bubble let's find out this is my diy cavity free bubble gum how does it look and how does it taste oh okay. adriana's got some powerful let me know what you think let's do it okay let's go mm. 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 a little hard delicious no flavor what's it taste like watermelon <laughs> tutti frutti strawberry <laughs> 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 master time to see who can blow the biggest bubble Ooh. Whoa! Oh! And next up we have the little sister. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! Nice. One final contestant. Up next we got Cynthia. Are you ready for this? Whoa! Oh! I'm warming up. I'm warming up. Oh! Ooh! Next up is how to make homemade disclosing tablet bubblegum. And gum. see if this $150 bubblegum toothbrush set will clean my stain teeth. Bubblegum is actually pretty easy to make. So let's make it. You're going to start off with gum base. These little things look like beans. So let's sweeten it up. First you got to add a little bit of corn syrup. Fat glob. Not too much. This stuff's not too healthy for you. We got to have it taste a little sweet. Next is the tutti frutti flavoring so it tastes like a disclosing tablet. Mmm. Now lastly, the disclosing solution. You can use food coloring, but I'm gonna use disclosing tablet solution to stain my teeth. Careful not to get it on your fingers because this stuff is potent. I'll have pink hands for the week. Add two for good luck. <laughs> and throw it in the microwave for 10 seconds. And give it a twirl. Once you get it to the right consistency, it's time to make some slices. We got some powdered sugar that we're gonna make a little hole in the center. And then add the gum mix. Fat glob. Get every single last drop of the gum into the center. Oh, it's so messy. Because it's hot, you're going to fold it over and incorporate some of the powdered sugar until it's not too sticky. It smells delicious. Once it's got the right texture, it's time to make some cuts. Add a little bit of sugar and shape them to how you want it. I want little cubes like hubba bubba. Now that we got our gorgeous pieces of gum, let's test them out. It's disclosing time. It's so soft. I think I might have added too much flavor though. I think my lips are getting more pink as I chew Let's it. Let's see how big of a bubble I can blow. Hmm. I think we need more gum. Oh yeah, my teeth are getting really pink after chewing this gum, but it tastes pretty good. <laughs> I look like a chipmunk. Let's blow this bubble. I want it larger than my face. <laughs> Why is it so hard? My jaw is hurting. Oh, did you see that? That was huge. Oh, oh. It's pretty good bubble gum, but I think it's making my tongue pink. Oh no. This gum had lots of sugar, so let's see if it stained my teeth. Let's check the before results. Jigglypuff toothbrush. Yay. It comes with a customizable charging base, two spare bristle heads, and a Jigglypuff toothbrush. Let's check out the bristles on this toothbrush. Bubblegum blowout toothpaste. Fat glob. This is Dental Digest, let's get brushing. This toothpaste tastes like hubba bubba, and this toothbrush is hubba hubba. These sonic vibrations are tickling my teeth, but it tastes delicious. Bubblegum mouthwash. Let's see which one tastes better. The all natural or cavity protection? Oh, first the all natural. Why is it so dusty? Ugh, I think this stuff stinks. It's not expired. It just stinks. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, what? Why does bubblegum mouthwash look like pee pee? I don't think I could drink this. This is Dental Digest. You guys better subscribe to this channel because I'm about to drink mouthwash that looks like pee-pee. 
Ugh. Aftertaste is actually not too bad. I don't even know how to describe it. It's like super sweet cinnamon with the tiniest bit of bubble gum. It's also got like an alcohol smell to it. That's why I thought it was old. I thought it was just like fermented. <laughs> I give it a three out of 10. Up next is at cavity protection. It's got my favorite feature. You squeeze it and it fills to the exact line you need. Salute. Mmm. Now this stuff is nice. It's kind of making my tongue tingle a little bit though. But it's got a nice Coca-Cola bubblegum flavor to it. Look how satisfying that is. Glug, 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 glug. Round two. This mouthwash tastes way better and has the added benefit of having fluoride. Well, lastly, we can't forget the floss. So let's make a custom DIY floss holder. Look how big my cheek is. Oh, play big. All right, enough of this. <laughs> Yo, it's stuck to the wall. Look, it's stuck up there. Now that we have an empty Hubba Bubba container, drop in some floss, grab your desired length, and snip it off. I think this floss is making my gums bleed. Psych, Dental Digest's gums don't bleed. But if yours do, it's probably a sign you need to floss more. And subscribe to Dental Digest. Let's check the after results. <laughs> Gorgeous. This toothbrush set was bubblicious, and your daily dental pro tip is to use sugar-free gum to help prevent cavities. For more dental pro tips, follow me on Instagram at Dental Digest. Thank you, Fat Glabbers, for watching. We'll see you in the next one, and as always, smile on. Ciao.